At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programs offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. Public courses are delivered in London, New York and Singapore. Our teachers are leading experts in their fields with a wealth of practical knowledge. They are skilled communicators who can get the message across quickly and effectively. Dr. Massimo Marini is a senior quant in the banking industry and has been on the LFS faculty since 2005. Marini is a regular speaker at international conferences on the topics of credit modeling, interest rate market models, correlation modeling and model risk. During uh, the last years, the business of uh, interest rate derivatives and consequently interest rate modeling has changed a lot. Now we have many term structures, we have very big bases between the different uh, term structures and many of the relationships that we used to have among uh, quotation of interest rate products are not anymore what they had been for decades. Even many derivatives that used to be considered simple, like for example just an interest rate swap, have become much more difficult to price today. So for example, if they have derivatives that pay rates with different tenors, they are exposed to a basis risk. They have to understand and they have to be able to hedge it. And they now know that basically what they have uh, uh, agreed with the counterparty about collateralization is dramatically affecting their pricing. Many practitioners nowadays work just having a deterministic spread between their OIS curve and their LIBOR curve. So they remain exposed to a big basis risk that they cannot hedge. While if they had a consistent model for the different term structure and their links, their way of edging the risk would be different and probably essentially more efficient and less expensive. In an industry like our industry, if you are not uh, uh, somehow really up to date with uh, your modeling tools, uh, it will be very difficult for you to be competitive, you know. The, the problem is that either uh, your, your costs of hedging, for example, will be too high and in the end uh, your pricing will not be competitive or on the end you will remain outside of the market or our, otherwise you will be simply arbitraged by those that know models which are more sophisticated than yours. I've been, we have seen many examples for banks uh, that were not able to deal with double curve pricing in these days. The banks that were able to do that were seeing big opportunities just in the pricing mistakes that the counterparty were doing. That's one of the risks that you're using. But even if your bank is sufficiently sophisticated in doing multi-curve, but it does that with just a, a deterministic basis spread, you are exposed to basis risk volatility and you are essentially unhedged and your books are not seeing the, the, the large amount of risk that you are taking. This LFS course explores the latest interest rate market models for pricing and managing risk. Practical sessions using Excel and MATLAB allow delegates to gain a deep understanding of the implementation challenges when using these models. I've been uh, teaching this course in London Financial Studies uh, for about six or seven years and I've seen uh, uh, everything I was teaching changing continuously. No, no course has ever been similar to the previous one. Nowadays, uh, basically a big part of the course deals with BGM already in a multi-core framework, taking into account of the fact that most of interest rate derivatives are collateralized uh, in a way that require you to discount with OIS curves. So you basically have a BGM both for the LIBOR rates and for the OIS rates. And with that, you can price all potential interest rate derivatives. And we are already seeing, you know, probably what will be the new challenges that uh, we face with the people that come with the courts. For example, now the same standard 
is weakening. You see problems in that. And new proposals have been made, and we are actually uh, trying to see how this new proposal can be put in practice. We have people coming from uh, extremely advanced banks uh, that uh, come to the course because they know that some research has been done on a, on a topic and they still do not know how to implement it and they want to, to, to learn that from someone that, that has already tried. Other times people come here maybe from even non-bank institutions that have always uh, uh, actually used the suboptimal frameworks until something happened to them that made them realize that it was getting dangerous. So they actually learn here uh, what the BGM is, how it can help them uh, uh, solving the problem, and how can they can go home and implement it uh, in practice. After the, this course, what they have learned is uh, often better ways to calibrate their model, or just they have learned models that can be calibrated better to the information they see in the market. And I try also to deal with things like efficiency in implementation, because if you have understood everything and you go home and you implement it, but you do now, now you make the uh, implementation to be suboptimal so much that to get an answer it takes uh, uh, two hours to you, you will be out of the market in any case. Often I hear feedback from people coming to this course, they say, oh, now I understand why it's impossible for me to close deals in that market. That's the reason why the exercise that we do with Excel or with MATLAB are so much important, you know, because uh, with Excel usually you understand yourself better how a thing is actually broken down in the practical uh, uh, design or of a worksheet. While MATLAB is so much important not only for what we do uh, here, but because you go home with your implementation of what you have seen here. Maybe you are going to implement that on a supercomputer with certainly C++, Java interfaces, and so on. But the algorithm is there. And even the techniques that, under an algorithmic point of view, allow to implement things in a more efficient way are there. So you can have a look and you can really understand even what you may have not immediately captured during the course.